Hi guys. Today we will analyze Starbucks stock, and calculate its intrinsic value using two different valuation models. Enjoy. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Technical Analysis The stock's overall performance in the market is below average. Also recent evolutions are not positive. Both the short and medium term trends are negative. It is better to avoid buying stocks with negative trends. The long term trend is still neutral. The stock is currently trading near the lower end of its 52 week range, which is not a good sign. Support level is around $93. Strong support levels are around $90, $80, and $72. Resistance level is around $99. Strong resistance levels are around $109 and $117. In the last month the stock has been trading between $92 and $99 range. It is currently trading near the lows of this range. The stock has an average volume of 8.5 million. This is a good sign as it is always nice to have a liquid stock. Intrinsic Value Buy low, sell high. We have heard it many times before. But how to know when it's low, and when it's high? The intrinsic value of a stock, is its true value. It refers to what a stock is actually worth, even if some investors think it's worth a lot more than that amount. Intrinsic value is important, because it can help investors understand whether the cost of a stock is undervalued, or overvalued compared to the market value of the stock. Let's calculate the stock's intrinsic value. For more accurate results, we will use two different valuation models to calculate the intrinsic value of the stock. Discounted free cash flow model, using the formula below, then, Valuation based on earnings per share, 5 year average PE ratio, and expected growth rate. First model Discounted free cash flow valuation. This spreadsheet contains some financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. We see that the average revenue growth rate of the stock has been around 8% per year, for last 5 years. We see that the average profit margin of the stock has been around 12% per year, for last 5 years. Also we see that the average free cash flow to net income rate of the stock, has been around 122% per year, for last 5 years. And we expect 8% per year average stock market return. Now, let's consider 3 different scenarios for Starbucks company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. Starbucks will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be low, 6%. Future profit margin would be low, 12%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be low, 60%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $52. Second scenario. Starbucks will have average performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be average, 8%. Future profit margin would be average, 13%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be average, 70%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $71. Third scenario. Starbucks will have high performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be high, 10%. Future profit margin would be high, 14%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be high, 80%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $95. Second model. Valuation based on earnings per share. This spreadsheet contains another financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. The current earning per share price for the company is 3.71. Minimum rate of return. I will use 12%. Because when we invest in individual stocks, we are looking for a higher return than the S&P 500. For Starbucks, analysts forecast growth rate around 8% per year in next 5 years, and future PE around 28. Again, I will use 3 different scenarios for Starbucks company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. Starbucks will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be low, 6%. Future PE would be low, 20. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $45. Second scenario. Starbucks will have average performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. 
future growth rate would be average, 8%. Future PE would be average, 22. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $59. Third scenario. Starbucks will have high performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be high, 10%. Future PE would be high, 24. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $76. As you can see, today the stock is overvalued, $93, even if we expect the company's high performance in future. Based on estimates for the next 5 years, Starbucks will show a small growth in revenue, 8% per year, and the stock is currently overpriced. Also, based on the company's rising labor costs and supply chain pressures, the stock may drop even further. I may consider buying the stock for the dividend if the stock drops below $80. Company Strengths Starbucks is the world's largest American coffee house chain that operates 17,133 company operated in 16,700 licensed stores in 62 countries. The company has also diversified its business operations by introducing innovative merchandises and food items. Starbucks is the most popular and strongest brand in the food and beverage industry. Its size, volume, and the number of loyal customers have kept growing over time. The company increased its number of stores from 1,886 to 33,833 between 1998 and 2021. Starbucks has a great reward program that keeps customers addicted to its coffee. In addition, reward members get the convenience of mobile payment, pre-order, and free birthday drinks. Starbucks has a return on assets of 15% and profit margin of 14%. This is amongst the best returns in the industry. Risks Efforts by McDonald's to sell gourmet coffee and aggressive expansion by Dunkin' Donuts and even Tim Hortons could hinder Starbucks growth. The price of the stock usually reflects the market's expectations for high growth, and could drop sharply if the company reports disappointing earnings or same-store sales. In the U.S., unit growth could also reach the point where new locations cannibalize sales at existing stores. The company's international expansion plans could prove overly ambitious. Finally, the company's rising labor costs. Supply chain pressures and increases in food and beverage costs could reduce margins and earnings. Based on estimates for the next five years, Starbucks will show a small growth in revenue. The revenue will grow by 8% on average per year. In the coming five years, the earnings per share will grow only by 12% yearly. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.